السلام عليكم we still studying the crystallography and mineralogy course we were talking uh, last time about the symmetry and we will close this talk. Uh, this is the last uh, uh, picture we have seen last time uh, for the planes of symmetry in the cubic system which has a complete uh, symmetry uh, elements uh, the center of symmetry now imagine that there is a line uh, traveling through uh, from one one face of a crystal to another uh, passing through a center of uh, the crystal if you can pass this imaginary line from the surface of the crystal through the center of the crystal and intersect similar point on a face with similar distance from the center then the crystal has a center of symmetry okay so most crystals have a center of symmetry even though they may not possess either planes or symmetry axes but most of them they have symmetry and they have center so the center now we know the definition of the center of how, how to recognize there is a center in the in the uh, in the crystal if you imagine there is a line uh, traveling through a surface of crystal face to another face uh, passing through the uh, the center of the crystal with equal distances so this is the center uh, come back to the uh, symmetry plane you can see those rabbits uh, I, I have this only this uh, this figure actually to show you the the, the reflection uh, the this the symmetry plane and the inversion plane uh, the reflection of two dimension object happens across the plane M but uh, after inversion everything is an as an equal opposite distance through a single point I now this is our topic of our lectures today the crystal form crystal form means every crystal has some faces and those faces are related to each other by symmetry and there are 48 possible forms that can be divided uh, can be developed as a result of the 32 combination of symmetry i know that you are studying only seven systems but i'm just telling you uh, there are 40 48 possible forms see these are just shapes uh, or crystal form of different crystals and we will study what does it mean crystal form so there are two types of crystal form either closed forms or open forms closed form that means that you have faces they are related together by symmetry and they can enclose a volume of space they can close it okay it is possible for a crystal to have faces entirely of one closed form imagine that cube cube has six faces and all of them they close or they enclose a volume of space they don't need any other elements to close that okay so we call this a closed form and the open form are those groups of faces that are related by symmetry that don't completely enclose they don't have to uh, enclose a volume of space they can be two faces for example if we have this in uh, in hexagonal or tetragonal like the prisms you have uh, face on the top and face on the bottom so these are two faces but those two faces form an open form called binacoid or the other faces the vertical ones we call them prism as we will see later crystal with open form faces require they need they require additional faces to form a the crystal or to have a closed form okay we have 18 open forms and 30 closed see the green one on the right is a pinacoid open form i was talking about right now and the other one the yellow one on the left is a prism which is open form 
open because you see the top and bottom of this uh, uh, form is open then if we add them together you will have this closed form of prism okay so prism is composed of three four six eight or twelve geometrically equivalent faces parallel to the same axis each of these faces intersect with two faces adjacent uh, to produce set of parallel edges okay so we have many actually forms uh, like a, cl uh, a closed form of prism we can find that in uh, rhombod rhombic um, prism tetragonal prism trigonal prism and hexagonal prism all of these are open crystal here are the shapes second is pyramid and be careful here pyramid is not by pyramid so pyramid is composed of also three four six eight or twelve faces that are not parallel but instead they intersect one point on the top for example or thrombic tetragonal hexagonal crystal they have this thing and all of those we call them open crystal and this is a good example you see the tetragonal the uh, tetragonal and the hexagonal and uh, other forms uh, of uh, open forms these are prisms example of prisms and these are example of pyramid see even in pyramid you can see the tri trigonal and uh, tetragonal and hexagonal but they only meet in one point but in the bottom they are open okay so it's still open form. same thing now uh, for closed forms we have bi pyramids or di pyramids you can choose whatever you want to call it by pyramid or di pyramid so we have two pyramids they meet each other at base to base so they are composed of two pyramids place base to base and related by reflection across the mirror plane that runs parallel to the adjacent pyramid bases okay and upper and lower pyramids may have three four six eight as we said before and the other one also has the same number of faces they meet uh, each other at their bases and we have here uh, closed crystal forms and you have this picture you see uh, all of them are biper okay same thing also in trapezohedron they compose of six or eight uh, or even 11, uh, 12 uh, trapezohedral uh, faces and uh, we have some uh, pictures for this uh, tri trigonal and tetragonal uh, we have the same situation here okay all of them also are closed crystal forms so crystal forms still we have rhombodron rhombodron crystal forms possess six rhombos shaped face faces and also are closed crystal form the point of this actually just to know the difference between the open crystal form and the closed crystal form okay tetrahedron also is composed of uh, trigonal faces and they are closed this is enough for today and see you all next lecture please take care of yourself thank you bye